Hey, what's up, everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today we're looking, we're doing, we're continuing the twenty, or continuing the fantasy heavyweight tournament rankings. As we're going to look at my number twenty-one heavyweight based on my point system, the former WBC champion Oleg Maskaev. As um, we continue this uh, tournament rankings, as I break down all the fighters, uh, the thirty-two fighters in this tournament. Uh, before we get into that, if you could smash the like button, leave a comment, or subscribe to the channel, I really do appreciate any and all support that I can get as I continue to build my channel here. So, Maskaev was a very um, underrated fighter. Now, nobody ever really gave him a chance. and He started his career way back in um, 1993. Um, he won his first six fights and then he ran into former WBC champion Oliver McCall, got knocked out in the first round of that fight. But again, that was only a seventh pro fight. Following that, he won about four in a row and then ran into David Tua in 97 in a very even fight heading into the 11th round. He got stopped by Tua. And, um, after that, he won, a. A bunch of fights in a row until the year 2000. He actually upset Hasim Rahman, and um, in 1999 he stopped Rahman. Um, when Rahman was ahead on the cards, he stopped him in the eighth round, uh, knocked him out. Then he defeated Derek Jefferson who, in 2000, who only had one loss on his resume. And then he ran into Kirk Johnson. When Maskaev was the number one contender after he beat Jefferson and beat Rockman, he was the number one contender. Um, and Kirk Johnson knocked him out in the fourth round of their fight. Um, and then uh, about five months later, he ran into Lance Whitaker and got knocked out in the second round of that fight. So after those two knockout losses, it really set him back a, a bunch. He won two straight in 2001, and then 2002 he lost to some very little known guy named Corey Sanders and not the Corey Sanders that beat Vladimir Klitschko, another Corey Sanders. Um, he got stopped in the eighth round of that fight. Then um, he started a slow build back towards title contention. And he would win, let me see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He would win 10 fights in a row, capped off by a WBC final eliminator where he, in 2005, where he defeated Sinan Samil Sam, who was a decent heavyweight um, at the time. He outboxed him to, to a 12-round unanimous decision and became the WBC's mandatory number one contender. Then in August of 2006, Rockman, Hasim Rahman was the WBC champion, and he wanted to fight James Tony in a rematch after Rahman had apparently defeated Tony, um, but then the fight was scored a draw in uh, March of that year. But Rockman, before he could entertain a rematch, he had to make a mandatory defense against Maskaev. And this was a rematch for Rockman. So Rock so most people felt Rockman was gonna beat Maskaev because he was overlooking him the first time. Well, because Rockman wanted the the show the rematch with James Tony, I think he overlooked uh Maskaev again. And this time Maskaev uh boxed and did very well, was ahead on two scorecards, but at the twelfth round heading into the twelfth round, one of those scorecards was he was only up by one point. But he went out and he stopped Hasim Rahman again in their rematch in the twelfth round and captured the WBC heavyweight title with another upset. Um he would return about four months later in December of 06 against Okello Peter and score a one-sided 12-round unanimous decision to retain the title. And then he would go through the process over the next year and some change of he almost uh, had to make a mandatory defense against champion emeritus Vitaly Klitschko, but Klitschko had injuries that kept him out of the ring. So finally in March of 2008, he would fight... Um, I don't know if he was the interim champion or the number one ranked contender, Samuel Peter. And he just couldn't um, withstand Peter's power as Peter grinded on him and um, hit him with big shots. And finally, in the sixth round, Samuel Peter would stop Oleg Maskaev and become the um, WBC heavyweight champion, taking the title from Maskaev. Maskaev, after that, uh, returned, got two wins in a row, and then got knocked out in the first round in 2009 against Najee Aguilera. He defeated Owen Beck, Jason Gavern, and then defeated former world title challenger um, Danny Williams in 2013. 
um, between the Najee Aguilera loss and twenty in two thousand nine, he took a three year layoff before he came back and beat Owen Beck. Um, again, he beat Jason Gavern in May of thirteen, and then six months later, he defeated Danny Williams in November of 2013, and then he decided to hang him up and call it a day. Um, Oleg Maskev, so only three title fights. He went two and one. Um, defeated Hasim Rahman, who was a former unified champ, beat him twice. You know, was never the best fighter in the world or even like maybe top three or four, but Maskev was a grinder. He could box. He had a decent punch. Um, I really wish uh, we would have seen more of him but he just wasn't he wasn't on that level and that held him back. So I'm very interested in seeing how he does in the first round if he stands a chance, but Moskov is a solid a solid heavyweight, 6'3" fighter. Um and you know, always weighed in at a, you know, his his championship weight that night against Peter was 243. Um he floated in around that um weight pretty much the whole time between 238 and 240. And 243 so he was right around 240 pounds a uh, good solid <coughs> heavyweight contender his biggest win was that rematch with Hasim Rahman for sure um and that was even bigger than any contenders win that he got but um Moskayev just grinded it out he grinded it out and waited for his opportunity and he struck when the iron was hot you know and he was able to beat a common opponent who I I feel uh, Rockman was overlooking him, thought he was going to blow him out both times he fought him, but especially in 2006 when he captured the title from him. So Moskayev has a place. We'll see how he does in the tournament, and that's it. That's what I got. That's my number 21 heavyweight for my fantasy interactive heavyweight tournament. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, leave a comment, or subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any and all support. This is True Boxing. You've been hit with the truth.